Hello, and welcome to Front Wing Foil Hydrodynamics. Ever look down while you're foiling and ask yourself what exactly is going on down there that is keeping yourself suspended two feet over the water? Well, let's break it all down. First, let's understand what high pressure and low pressure is and how they are created. Not the kind from our favorite meteorologist that lied to us saying it was going to be blue skies last weekend. Instead, we speak of the overshadowed but considerably cooler hydrodynamic variety of high pressure. The shape of the front wing plays one of the most crucial roles in the journey of your flight. It breaks through a mass of water, changing the pressure when molecules are forced to travel from the leading edge to the trailing edge. Imagine a line in the middle of the wing that divides the water in two. As your wing travels up to 12 miles an hour, that disruption means some of the water will go over the top of the efficient front wing design, relatively unobstructed with less drag creating a low pressure. While many of the water molecules will be altered as they travel down the bottom of the front wing, the water has increased interaction running the length of the bottom of the wing, adding to the resistance and creating a slower speed. This drag force results in a high pressure zone. The difference in speed in pressure between the top and bottom movements over the wing create an upward force called a pressure field. This pressure field is magnified as a rider tilts the front wing's leading edge up, generating an even slower traveling bottom side. As the angle gets steeper, eventually the water won't grip with the top part of the wing. You then experience the dreaded stall, aka your levitating party just ended. It took us years to really understand the needs of the rider and how the nuances of the design create varying levels of forward momentum, lift, and stability without hitting the stall button. Different size and shapes create different contrast of high and low pressure results out of the wing. Just when we thought we had our masters on wing designs, we then spent another season understanding the efficiency of the water leaving the wing regardless of the shape. So equally as important as the design of the wing is how the trailing edge is constructed and fades out. This will largely determine whether the water will have a clean or dirty exit. Much like watching air leaving a car in a wind tunnel, this too can drastically alter your ride. With either the streamlined excellence of a Speed 1330, the top shelf and lift with Balance 1600, or a combination of the two with a Balance 1300, you will also come to realize that we have the cleanest exit in foiling. Welcome to the Pearly Gates.